my dear friends i'm very excited to welcome you to this very special section we are celebrating the mothers it is mother's day i remember in a poem william ross wallace said that the hand that rocks the cradle is the hand that rules the world we are talking about mothers mothers are very special special creatures made by god himself if you have opportunity to look up the word mother the verb form you will discover that the word means someone that brings care and affection so essentially or functionally mothers are not just those who have children no if you are a woman and you're able to give affection tender loving care and affection you are a mother you qualify as a mom mothers are so special and the bible tells us so in the book of genesis chapter 2 verse 18 god said it is not good for a man to be alone this was after god created man he discovered that even the dominion he gave him and all the things he had asked him to do was not enough for him because something was lacking the man was by himself he was alone he was lonely and God tried to bridge the gap by bringing other animals into creation and he asked the man to look out for names for them but the Bible said that the man could not find a helper fit there was no helper among the animals and God now tried to use another route that was the first time God made a mistake in quotes God took the rib from the man and fashioned the woman and when at last the man saw the woman he said this one at last is the bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh mark the word this one at last so that means among others this qualifies to fill the gap this is the helper that I need I can't look for any other women are so special mothers you are special you fill in the gap when no one could fill the gap and that is why this function of helper is something that relates you to the Holy Spirit. Our Lord Jesus Christ tells us in John chapter 14 verse 26 that the Holy Spirit is our helper that will teach us. St. Paul tells us the same thing in Romans 8 26 that the Holy Spirit comes to help us in our weakness. So mothers, you have a very special position. You, have a, you are very close to God because you are related to the Holy Spirit. Mothers are teachers, timeless teachers in the classroom of life. Mothers are able to understand what a child could not say. Have you imagined how a mom would know how when a child is having headache or stomach ache? This is so special. Mothers are great teachers and you teach with affection, you teach with love, you don't teach to punish, you teach to renew you teach so that someone will get that love that comes from your heart I remember when St. Paul wanted to identify the faith of Timothy in 2nd Timothy chapter 1 verse 5 St. Paul said that I see the faith in you coming from your grandmom Lois and your mom Eunice so what does you teach but you teach in a different way, in, in, in a way that no teacher in this world could teach because you teach with affection. Mothers are collaborators with God. You collaborate with God. God is the giver of life, but you have to bring this life to birth. That is why you are special. When God wanted to redeem humankind, he approached a mother, a woman, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and asked, can you have can you help in this project that I have? And the mom says, yes, that's our Blessed Virgin Mary said, yes. So she became a close collaborator with God in bringing the, the savior of the world to birth. She had a human mother. Mothers are so special that we don't need to forget them. We have to be connected with mothers all the time. We have to celebrate you, not to tolerate you. Mothers are to be celebrated, not tolerated. I have to say that again. For all the things you did for us, for all the mess you were able to stand, those times we are not complying, you were patient. Those times we gave you sleepless nights, you didn't complain. Those times we, we were so unruly, you were there. 
in a kind with a kind way in a kind manner in a kind disposition we are there patiently waiting for us you change our clothes you change our, our clothing you made it possible for us to to experience life in a new way you carried us mothers are special it is my wish and my prayer also that mothers will become the best versions of moms there is nothing as powerful as a praying mother remember hannah remember esther remember our mother mary there is nothing as powerful as an obedient mother remember the blessed virgin mary who said let it be done to me according to your word she was uncomplaining in the face of the trials of her son she had faith in god there is nothing as powerful as a woman with faith we pray that you also become faithful in all these positions there is nothing as powerful as a mom that gives a giver a mom that cares so we pray that you become more caring like mother teresa and to give even the last you have with compassion with love and dedication i want to pray for you today mothers God, I thank you for the gift of motherhood. We can't ask for more than that. And I ask for your blessings upon all the mothers all over the world as we celebrate them today. There is nothing we can give to them that will be enough for what they did for us. We can't pay for all the time they spent upon us, for their care, for their love, for their tender loving care. Father, you will repay them. Grant them health for the sick. Grant them sustaining grace. For those who have passed, those who are dead, grant eternal rest in your kingdom. May the Almighty God bless and keep all mothers in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We love you, mothers. God bless you. Please share this to all mothers. And may God bless you. Amen.